For the first time since season 12, when the Indianapolis Spitfire departed for the East Coast, the Simulation Football League returns to the Circle City and the Snake Pit as the Indianapolis Ramblers tonight welcome in their fellow expansion brethren in the Canton Classics. Well, they just keep going backwards to the Ramblers. They're rambling in the wrong direction, but this pass goes over the middle and is intercepted near midfield. Jay Rock, the third season veteran, made the transition over from Atlanta in this offseason, and he grabs the interception to give the ball right back to Canton. First interception of the season for Jay Rock. Reads that well, stays in front of where the ball's going, in front of Jay Viper. It was a little bit underthrown. Here is second and seventh. Linebackers keep up to the line, then drop off. Quick throw over the middle, and finding tons of space is Jack Wallet. He is gone for the touchdown. Only two plays, and Canton's in the house. That was a really interesting play. They sent the tight ends from the line deep down the field, and Indianapolis just did not cover it. Not usually a play that you see. Third down at eight for Indianapolis. They go to the outside nice route. and turning up field beautifully for a first down. Ramblers moving the chains much more efficiently than on their first drive. And, um, you know, on this Indianapolis side, they drafted a lot of players, um, and they get to start with this new franchise. That's a fantastic route down the seam, tackle made by Mark Grodick. Hand off Jones, picking his way through the middle. He's got the speed, but he can't quite get away from the tackle of Bob Funk. Makes the touchdown saving stop. The kicker for Indianapolis is Larry Barr. He was enticed away from the Arizona Scorpions in the offseason. This is only his second SFL season. He wanted to make an impact with a uh, brand new franchise. Hunting for Canton is a rookie, Doug Six. And Look appropriately out. wears number six. He barely gets that one away as the corners came heavy for Indianapolis. That's going to sit down inside the two and nice. down at the goal line. You can't do much better than that. Look oh, out, Indianapolis. They are barely outside their own goal line. Hand off, left hand side, wrapped up and dropped is Brad Jones. It's going to be a safety for Canton. Got them three points, but Canton has gone quick and to the point on the offensive side of the ball like this. First down and more. Kendra Hall finally tapped on the shoulder and down at the Indianapolis 26-yard line. And I think that's the play that Kenton has been trying to get to for about a quarter as going deep towards the end zone. Touchdown! Oh. oh my, how did Jack Wall snag that one out of the air? Canton extends the lead early in the second quarter. Man, that wall is covered with moss because he just mossed this defense. Look at this, right over your head. And a towering figure, not just eh, in the simulation, but in real life as well. Look, Look out. Last week at the convention, on the run, throwing into traffic and intercepted. Second interception of the game for Canton, Connor Darian, the other former Jacksonville King and former Atlanta Swarm player, picks off Colin Pierce. And just when you thought the momentum might be going the Indianapolis Ramblers way, Canton snags it right back. And that's uh, that's the recipe for an interception there, Michael. Yeah, you never want to see that. And here's a go route again. It's caught by Kendra Hall. Touchdown, Canton Classics. The quick fire offense strikes again. And the boys and girls from the NFL Hall of Fame city are lighting it up in Indianapolis on SFL late night. Third down and six, gotta get to the 35. Four step drop, going over the middle into traffic and intercepted. It's Bob Funk with the pick and put that one on some highlight reels because that was beautiful. We, we haven't earned that yet as an expansion team, but we're still gonna take those shots. We're still gonna try and be that team. First punt of the day from Maddie Wiseman as she kicks it from the back of her own end zone. going to be fantastic field position for Canton. 35 seconds to go. They're already almost in field goal range. Canton going to go to the air. They're going to go to a quick cool. strike. And it's caught inside the 15-yard line. Timeout. Classics. Kendra Hall held on through a vicious hit. 
Oh man, corner sits on a too soft. The safety has to come over. So far tonight, Canton has earned kind of that that conversation about how good they can be. But you got to be consistent with it too, right? And if we're going to hold them to that same standard, Jack Wall, I mean, that's a drop. Through Roku, Amazon, Fire TV, and more. Visit ESTV.co as Johnson throws forward for a first down. Uh, don't do anything too crazy, right? You're up by 23. You don't have to force anything. Patient by Cameron Curtis. He finds Johnson, and Johnson puts the defenders back on the grass. And Split back. Two receivers out to the left. Three-step drop. Going to the weak side for Johnson. Johnson gets the edge. Makes a tackle up the sideline inside the 10 and down to the 5 before he's finally pushed out of bounds. Uh, but here from the 5, I think you, you abandon it. This time the running play goes. Oh. Johnson, and he walks in untouched. There was a Ramblers defender in the backfield, but he got duped one-on-one. -on -one. Or work with uh, partners outside of people already in the community, that's huge, right? And so important um, for the league to kind of grow in that respect. That's another um, dagger in between about four defenders and don't necessarily, are, are not necessarily involved in the Discord all the time and don't have players, but they show up to watch the games. Another oh. terrific pass and hanging on through the contact is Jeff Banfield again. It's not a direction that we absolutely have to go, um, in, in my opinion, right? I think that um, when you look kind of as that's going to go on. Left, left side, sorry about that, Andy. You're Brad good. Jones has interrupted you by scoring the first touchdown in the snake pit history here in Indianapolis. Yeah, well blocked. Um, and, and I think that whole drive from Indianapolis was beautiful, right? <laughs> and, uh, but the convention was a great time, and it always is. There's the interception that Indianapolis finally gets what they deserve, you would say. They've had so many chances at it. And it's finally Indianapolis's time. Ramblers need to get to the 38-yard line. Of Canton to get the first down to keep this drive alive. It's a deep strike down the numbers, and it's hauled in by Banfield, and he grabs down to the 13-yard line. They are set up on the four-yard line. It's going to be a run play to the right side. A spin nice. move gets the running back, Brad Jones, in for his second touchdown of the second half. And the Ramblers are starting to ramble their way up the scoreboard. And Cameron Curtis has had his shoulders on the turf more often than not the last There goes Wall. He's done. Oh, Wall is deep, and it is intercepted. Oh! He would have been gone, but the ball was underthrown. And the Ramblers have a second straight interception on consecutive Canton offensive plays. 10 to 17 to go, only down by two scores, but you gotta go here. Here's a pass oh! right in between two defenders and a miraculous grab. That they were su successful with on their last drive in short yardage situation. Jones gets a block. Got it. The end time, and he waltzes in for his third touchdown of the second half. And Cameron Curtis between last drive and this drive. Oh, oh look out! It's Six intercepted! Six. And this <laughs> one could go all the way! Indianapolis wow. is right back in this ball game. It's a third pick in a row for the Ramblers defense, and this one goes for six. Man, and Prine, earlier in the game, Mike, we talked about it. That play, if you throw it too late, has the potential to be a pick six. You can roll the tape back. We talked about it. Twins to get wide open on that crossing pattern. Deep down the middle goes Curtis. It's intercepted. It's the fourth straight interception for Cameron Curtis at Indianapolis as well and truly in control of this game. Shotgun snap. Colin Pierce, plenty of time. Fires down the numbers. Left hand Ooh. side. One-on-one -on -one coverage and Ryan Roosevelt comes down with it. And the ball is almost across the line to gain at the snap. It's going to go to Jones, and you half expected Jones to break that last tackle as well. Evan Lacey with the touchdown saving stop, but it's first and goal for the Ramblers at the seven. Second and goal. Up the middle. Got it. Nobody's going to touch Brad Jones. He's got four rushing touchdowns in the second half at Indianapolis from 30 points behind. Takes the lead with five minutes to go. Up-tempo offense comes from the classics. They'll go fast. Three left, single right. They'll stay in this formation. Shotgun snap for Curtis. Curtis under pressure. Nailed as he lets it go. And it's overthrown and intercepted. Rest in peace, Matt Wilson. He threw it 
the first ever complete Hail Mary that season. It's going to oh be my. short, and oh, he couldn't get it. 